वेलकम टू वंडर्स लेट सब्सक्राइब टू आर टेलीग्राम चैनल गिवन इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन टू अपडेट्स एंड स्टडी मटेरियल्स टॉपिक फॉर टुडेज क्विज इज सिविलाइजिंग द नेटिव एजुकेटिंग द नेशन क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वॉट वुड यू कॉल अ पर्सन हु नोज सेवरल लैंग्वेजेज ऑप्शन ए बायोग्राफर ऑप्शन बी बायोग्राफर ऑप्शन सी लिंग्विस्ट ऑप्शन डी बायोलिंग्विस्ट द करेक्ट आंसर इज ऑप्शन सी लिंग्विस्ट फॉर इंस्टेंस विलियम जोन्स हु हैड स्टडीड ग्रीक एंड लैटिन एट ऑक्सफर्ड एंड न्यू फ्रेंच इंग्लिश अरेबिक एंड पर्जियन वॉज अ लिंग्विस्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर टू Identify this linguist who arrived in Calcutta in 1783 as a junior judge at the Supreme Court. Option A: William Jones. Option B: Henry Thomas Colebrook. Option C: Warren Hastings. Option D: Max Muller. The correct answer is Option A. William Jones the person in the pic is seen learning persian and it was william jones who learned persian and also arrived in calcutta in 1783 question number 3 from the image given below name this english scholar who learned sanskrit and ancient sacred writings of hinduism along with william jones option a max muller option b nathaniel halhed option c henry thomas colebrook Option D Warren Hastings The correct answer is Option C Henry Thomas Colebrook Englishmen like Henry Thomas Colebrook and Nathaniel Halhed shared the interests of William Jones discovered the ancient Indian heritage mastered Indian languages and translated Sanskrit and Persian works into English Question number 4 Three Englishmen were busy discovering the ancient Indian heritage and mastering Indian languages. One was William Jones and another Henry Thomas Colebrook. Name the third person. Option A: Warren Hastings. Option B: Henry Thomas Colebrook. Option C: Max Muller. Option D: Nathaniel Halhed. The correct answer is option D Nathaniel Halhed the three Englishmen William Jones Henry Thomas Colebrook and Nathaniel Halhed together set up the Asiatic Society of Bengal and also started a journal called Asiatic Researches which was based on their researches on Indian heritage question number 5 who started the journal Asiatic Researches option A Warren Hastings option B Max Muller option C William Jones option D Henry Thomas Colebrook The correct answer is option C William Jones many british officials living in calcutta at that time like Henry Thomas Colebrook and Nathaniel Halhed shared the interests of William Jones So together with them Jones set up the Asiatic Society of Bengal and started the journal question number 6 What does the Arabic word madrasa refer to option A a mine option B a factory option C a place of worship option D a place of learning a school or college The correct answer is option D a place of learning a school or college madrasa was set up in calcutta in 1781 to promote the study of arabic persian and islamic law question number 7 where in india a madrasa was set up in 1781 to promote the study of arabic persian and islamic law option a bombay option b calcutta option c Madras option D Banaras The correct answer is option B Calcutta 
Many company officials felt that institutions should be set up to encourage the study of ancient Indian texts and teach Sanskrit and Persian literature and poetry. Asiatic Society of Bengal was set up by in Calcutta. Question number 8. Name the important scholar who studied Sanskrit and found it to be the most scientific language of the world. He also translated the important works Shakuntala and Manusmriti into English. Option A. William Jones. Option B. Max Muller. Option C. Charles Wood. Option D. Nathaniel Halhed. The correct answer is Option A. William Jones. William Jones was a linguist and studied Sanskrit language from Pandits. He, along with Colebrook, went about discovering ancient texts, understanding their meaning, translating them, and making their findings known to others. Question number 9. From the outline map of India, identify the place marked A in black circle. Situated on the banks of Ganges, in Uttar Pradesh also known as Varanasi or Kashi where the Hindu college was established in 1791. Option A. Kanpur. Option B. Jhasi. Option C. Banaras. Option D. Agra. The correct answer is. Option C. Banaras. The Hindu college was established to encourage the study of ancient Sanskrit texts. Company officials thought setting up institutions would be useful for the administration of the country. Question number 10. From the following which one would best describe an Orientalist? Option A. Those with a scholarly knowledge of the culture and language of Asia. Option B. Those who study about the transport and communication of Asia. Option C. Those who study about the animal behavior of Asia. Option D. Those who study about the birds of Asia. The correct answer is. Option A. Those with a scholarly knowledge of the culture and language of Asia. Warren Hastings who was a famous Orientalist took the initiative to set up the Calcutta Madarsa and believed that the ancient customs of the country and Oriental learning ought to be the basis of British rule in India. Question number 11. A person who can read, write and teach Persian is called a underscore. Option A. Biographer. Option B. Linguist. Option C. Orientalist. Option D. Munshi. The correct answer is Option D. Munshi, the majestic figure of Hastings, who was an enthusiastic supporter of Orientalists is placed between the standing Pandit on one side and seated Mingshi on the other side in Victoria Memorial in Calcutta. The figure portrays Hastings' interest in vernacular languages and the two scholars of Sanskrit and Persian languages who taught him the two languages. Question number 12. In countries like India, British use this term to mark the difference between the local languages and everyday use and English. This term is generally used to refer to a local language or dialect as distinct from what is seen as the standard language. Option A. Slang. Option B. Colloquial. Option C. Vernacular. Option D. Jargon. The correct answer is Option C. Vernacular British considered English as the language of the imperial masters and said that knowledge of East was full of errors and unscientific thought. So for local languages they used the term vernacular. Question number 13. Warren Hastings took the initiative to set up a madrasa at one of the important cities of India and believed that the ancient customs of the country and oriental learning ought to be the basis of British rule in India. Which city is being referred to here? Option A. Pondicherry. Option B. Madras. Option C. Calcutta. Option D. Bombay. The correct answer is Option C. Calcutta.
Warren Hastings was a supporter of the Orientalists, which we can clearly see in the image at Victoria Memorial in Calcutta. Here Warren Hastings' figure is placed between the standing figure of a Pandit and a seated Munshi. Question number 14. The image given below is that of a famous Governor-General in the center, and a Pandit on one side and a Munshi on another side. This monument is now in Victoria Memorial, Calcutta. Guess correctly the name of this Governor-General. Option A. Warren Hastings. Option B. Lord Mountbatten. Option C. Lord Wellesley. Option D. Lord Dalhousie. The correct answer is Option A. Warren Hastings. Warren Hastings was a supporter of Orientalists, so his image was placed between a Pandit and a Munshi because he needed Indian scholars to teach vernacular languages. Question number 15. Some comments about the Orientalist vision of learning by the British are given below. Select the one that is not applicable to this particular style of learning. Option A. British said that knowledge of the East was full of errors and unscientific thoughts. Option B. British argued that the aim of education ought to be to teach what was useful and practical. Option C. British observed that Western literature was non-serious and light-hearted. Option D. British argued that it is not advisable to encourage the study of Arabic and Sanskrit language and literature. The correct answer is Option C. British observed that Western literature was non serious and light hearted. British officials said that Eastern literature was non serious and light hearted. Thank you for watching the video. If you'd like practice this quiz, then download the Wonderslate app now. Link in the description below. If you have any suggestion for us, feel free to leave comments. If you liked the video and want to see more of it hit the thumbs up and don't forget to click on subscribe button to get more updates of the future videos.